Today, I'm going to show you how to dodge and burn using a special new feature called Luminous Range Masking in Lightroom. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. We've got a great episode for you. We're going to show you how to dodge and burn in Lightroom. Now, this is a super cool technique that you can use to get more detail out of your highlights and shadows. And recently, they added a feature called luminance masking. So what we're going to do is dodge and burn our image, but only have that be visible in either the highlights or the shadows. It's basically a more accurate way to dodge and burn. And we're doing this on our raw photo, which means we have all of our original image data intact. Super, super cool. Let's get into Lightroom and show you how it's done. So here we are in Lightroom. We've got an image I shot in California last year, and you can actually download this raw file on flurn.com. You can just click on the screen right now or follow the link right down below, and you can work along with me. So what we're going to do, basically this area is looking really good, but I would like to just add a little bit more detail into the highlights of our subject here, just kind of like give it a little bit more dimension. So what we're going to do is go to our develop module. Now within our develop module, you'll see we have a couple of options right over here that allow us to do local editing. In other words, only edit one part of the photo. Now my favorite is the adjustment brush. So let's go ahead and click on the adjustment brush. And here with the adjustment brush, you can start to paint over an area. And this is basically what's going to be, you know, your affected area. Now you have all these different controls within your adjustment brush. So for instance, I can bring my exposure up or down and it's only going to affect that area. Now, historically, this has been like, okay, right? It's like, okay, I can paint over here and it's gonna make all that area brighter. But where this got a lot more powerful is adding range masking to the mix. And basically that allows you to have this only visible on your highlights or shadows. So let's show you how it's done. Our range masking is right down below here. Now you have to be on either your graduated, your radial or your adjustment brush and you can set your, let's just set our exposure up a little bit more, and your range mask is right down here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and click here. We have the option for color and luminance. We're gonna be using luminance because we dodge and burn with light or dark. Now, in this case, I brightened up those areas, but let's say I only want them to be visible on my highlights and not my shadows. All you have to do is take this range area right here and click and drag from the left or the right, and you're gonna see this is gonna to start to disappear from your shadows but remain visible on your highlights. And you can bring your smoothness up, which just creates a little bit more of a gradual effect. So smoothness up or down, there we go. Usually I prefer a little bit more on the smooth side. So let's go ahead and just turn that off real quick. So you can see there's the before and the after. Now I do have my adjustment brush set. So let me just make my brush a little bit smaller, okay? I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and just paint this. I'm gonna minus this out because it was painting over top of the over top of the background, some other areas like that. There we go. And let's just make this a little bit larger. Now, my suggestion when you're doing this is to paint with a low flow, okay? Paint with a flow of usually around, I would say anywhere between 20, 30, 40%. And this will kind of allow you to build your effect up. So in this case, we're gonna paint over our subject. All right, so let's again, just turn that off and then right back on. So that looks really good. We did, uh, you can see we lost some information in our highlights here. So I'm just gonna pull our highlights down just a little bit, maybe our exposure down just a little bit more. Okay, now the great thing with this adjustment brush is you can do this a few times. In this case, we used a pretty large area. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more refined and choose the areas that we actually wanna dodge and burn. So here where it says mask, I'm gonna go to new, okay? And we're gonna start right here on our subject simply paint right on our subject and we're gonna bring our exposure up a little bit. There we go, on our subject's face. And then here we wanna use our range masking, set to luminance, all right? Let's smooth that up and then bring our range right in there, okay? And maybe we'll just bring our exposure down just a little bit. So I'm basically able to bring out the highlights in my subject's face, which results in my viewer, whoever's looking at this image, to just simply look at our subject's face a little bit more, which is my goal here. There we go. And we can kind of paint in some of these highlight areas 
and just do a really nice job dodging and burning. We can even bring in some detail there in the shadows. Here we are. So this is a really great alternative to dodging and burning in Photoshop. So if you're a Lightroom user, you're gonna love using this technique because it just allows you to bring out so much detail right here in Lightroom without having to get into Photoshop. All right, well, that's looking really, really good. Let's just turn that off. So you can see here's before without any adjustments and here's the after. Let's go ahead and just hide our little overlays by going down to auto here. So we'll bring it over here so we can see here's our before and our after making a huge difference on this image. And we have a really natural looking photo, which is the most important part of dodging and burning. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and our after. Here's our before and the after. So if you want to do this on your own, just remember you can use the graduated filter, the radial filter, or the adjustment brush. And you can choose range masking. Go ahead and go down to luminance and you can choose whether you want your effect to be only visible in the highlights or in the shadows. And for dodging and burning, this makes a huge difference and makes your images look more realistic. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. You can do this on any one of your photos to bring out more detail. If you liked our video, give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll send you new free tutorials every single week. Thank you so much. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye everyone. I just had to say I love you. It just felt right. Finding the fun where we make learning fun. Hey. Oh hey there. Hi. What how are you doing? Yeah? I'm doing good. Just doing real good. G good with a capital J. Jud. Jud. I'm doing real Jud. Jud.